Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to get Windows 11 onto a USB drive. So the first thing you want to do is at least get a 32 gig or a bigger thumb drive, maybe 16 gig, but get that thumb drive plugged into your computer. You're going to go to the Microsoft, download Windows 11. Once you get to this page, you're going to see a lot of options here. Now, if you're just trying to get Windows 11 on the machine you're on, you're going to download the installation assistant here. But if you were trying to get onto a computer that might need to boot up from a thumb drive, we're going to click on this option here. So go ahead and download now. And once that gets done downloading, you're going to want to double click on that EXE. And then you're going to get something like this. We're going to agree to the terms of services when that pops up, get hit I accept. It's going to get a couple things downloaded here and get us ready so we'll wait for that to get done all right now here is where you can change some options like if it was 32 bit or different languages so you just usually leave that to all the defaults that should be good like i said it looks like an 8 gig or bigger thumb drive we got that in there so we're going to hit next it's going to be our h drive because that's the uh, letter that was assigned to the thumb drive when it was plugged in so to make sure it's a drive that you're not going to need because it will format that usb drive and that data will be unrecoverable click on that and hit next now it's downloading the windows 11 uh, installation file to that thumb drive now this can take some time depending on your internet connection i've seen it take 15 minutes if you have fast internet it could take an hour so it just really depends on your internet connection all right as you can see once it gets done downloading it's going to process it for a little bit longer and then as when it says your usb drive is ready then go ahead and hit finish and then give this a couple minutes and now we can go ahead and safely eject our thumb drive and plug it into our computer to install windows 11. one thing to know before you begin the windows 11 installation it kind of forces you to sign in with the microsoft account so if you see this page you know usually you can unplug the internet and then get past it but you know they've hidden that now and you know you don't have that i don't have internet button so if you want to bypass that all you need to do is do shift f10 so you hold on shift hit f10 and then you get the command prompt in command prompt you need to type in oobe forward slash bypass nro once you put that in it will reboot the computer but don't worry, when you reboot, then you will have that option that says, I don't have internet, and then you can bypass that Microsoft sign-in window if you don't want to sign in with a Microsoft account. Hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.